On July 14th, news rapidly circulated among netizens regarding an incident in Liangfeng Village, Zhongping Town, Tianqi County, Bijie City, Guizhou Province. Reports say that the body of a man in his 90s was stolen shortly after burial. On the same day, local authorities confirmed the incident, attributing it to funeral reforms implemented by the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, which prohibited burial in coffins. As the family did not comply with the regulations, the relevant departments took it upon themselves to exhume the body and arrange for cremation. According to social media posts by relatives of the deceased, no prior announcement of the cremation was made during the funeral, and no official paperwork was provided. The funeral concluded, only for the family to discover that the body had vanished. In a video circulating online purportedly featuring the deceased's granddaughter, she expressed her distress, stating, In the middle of the night, someone came to steal the body, took away my grandfather's coffin, and stole my 90-year-old grandfather's body. A police station employee, when questioned about the incident, remarked, Upon receiving the notification, we went to the scene. Our understanding is that we have a funeral reform policy in place. Deceased individuals must be cremated. The family did not comply with this policy, prompting government personnel to take the body for cremation. Following the incident, Weibo user Jin Guo Super expressed their discontent on July 14th, calling this funeral reform unnecessary and describing it as merciful harm. They criticized the CCP for focusing on superficial achievements while engaging in grave digging, body theft, and arbitrary handling of coffins. They demanded the immediate abolition of this funeral reform policy. The incident has led to widespread public questioning and outrage. Netizens raised concerns, asking whether disallowing coffins justified theft, and whether such actions were befitting of a civilized society. They also questioned the legality of body theft, and emphasized the severity of the offense. It is worth noting that grave digging is uncommon in China. A netizen from Shandong province highlighted, This treatment has been going on for years. Burial restrictions were strictly enforced in the past. Many localities have adopted such policies, and even if individuals were buried, their graves would be dug up. The CCP has initiated funeral reforms in some rural areas, including the leveling of graves. According to an April 10th report by To Tiao, Tu Session issued the CCP's Central Committee Document No. 1, calling for reforming rural funeral culture to promote spiritual development in rural communities. However, online reports suggest that grave leveling has been underway since April. The authenticity of the funeral reforms and the leveling of graves has been confirmed. To Tiao reports that grave leveling primarily targets extravagant tombs in rural areas. These large tombs occupy substantial space, require significant financial and material resources, and can create adverse social effects, fueling unhealthy competition. The central government has called for the dismantling, simplifying, and rationalizing such tombs. The second focus of the reforms is the elimination of living graves, which refers to tombs with roofs that can accommodate temporary residents, often used by homeless individuals. These tombs have become prevalent in certain remote rural areas, contradicting the spirit of the CCP's document and causing various societal issues. Consequently, they are targeted for elimination 